Hello my queens and welcome back to the Angel Beauty Confessionals. So for today we are going to be casting out, trying out, messing around with this famous little eye stamp. Now I do have my face ready and we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. So from what I've seen is you're supposed to put like the concealer or the eyeshadow and then you just kind of like stamp it on just like that. So we're going to go ahead and see how well that works. So for this video, we are going to be using today my Delancey palette. This one is put stardust in your eyes. That is, the, ooh, with the camera, it looks kind of cool, but I don't even know if y'all can see it. Let me bring it back a bit. So we're going to use this one. And that is the shades right here. Like, I got this for free. Woo, thank you, Delancey. And look at this green. This green is everything. I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow with a video, a picture with that, um, that green. And it's like, wow. I do have a new little mirror, so I'm not using that broken one anymore. Thank you. And this one I can get really close. So that's great. So let's jump right into this. I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe brush. And we're gonna keep this just really basic just cuz I'm not so much for like the look I'm more for the stamp so we're just gonna take this shade right here right there and I'm just gonna put it in my crease just like that. all right so that shade is just gonna be the transition shade I'm next gonna jump into this darker one in the corner right here and I'm going to switch to my smaller crease brush by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to tilt my head back and then put that in right here. This is just so we can have um, some depth. So I'm just kind of, this is going to be like a really simple look. But the main purpose is just going to be to test out the stamp. And so that's why I'm kind of like, if it looks messy, that's okay. Because that's where the stamp with the concealer is going to come in. And then it'll just kind of, um, you know, clean it up. So those are the two shades right there. Now, for this shade, for the shade, <laughs> for this look, I am going to be going in with the green shade that I was talking about, might as well just do it now instead of you make you guys go to my Instagram and shit like that. Might as well we're here. I'm going to take that shade and that's what's going to be put on the stamp. But first what we're going to do now is take the concealer. Now, let me just read. Okay, so the box does say, step one, for full eyeshadow glitter on eyeshadow seal with plastic eyeshadow brush. Okay, <laughs> step two, it says stain part of flicker powder in the eye corner. It says the eyeshadow seal with flicker powder is printed directly in the eyeshadow. That is the seal completes the double color flash eyeshadow effect. Warm hint. If feel a glow effects is insufficient, seal again can be used repeatedly two times until fit. Um. Directions. Made no sense. So, common sense. We're just going to go in with it. And I'm just going to put it right here. Just going to take the concealer. I am putting it directly. Just like that. I'm making sure the line is straight. That way it comes out straight on the eye. Now, I've seen some people do really well with this. And then I've seen some people flop this because of like the eye shape and stuff. So, I'm going to bring you guys in closer. And then we'll go and apply this to my face. Alright, so now that I have you guys up close. We're going to go ahead and take the stamp that I put the concealer. And we're just going to... Oh, I'm not even sure how. I'm just going to press it on... Just like that. Okay. I'm not even mad at it. All right. Um, of course, I do have to fix it with a brush and then kind of blend it out a little bit at the top because it's already like going to the top. Um, 
So let's go ahead and just take that. I'm going to take this double-sided Amoras brush with the flat end. And then I'm just going to fix the concealer that we just laid down. It did go. I did, I guess maybe it's my fault that I kind of pressed it so far up here. So we will fix that. Or, you know, I'll just actually kind of like just blend it like that. Just kind of blend it. Like that. Okay, that looks good. And that's the concealer. I'm actually not mad at it. <laughs> what? This saved time. And then I know that you can go ahead and place like the color here and then push it onto the eye. So I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to take my flat one. Well, that's, yeah, my flat one. And then I'm just going to pick up the product and place it onto the stamp just like that. I don't know how this part's going to work, to be honest. I'm actually going to go on with my finger. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Hopefully it works well. So let's just go ahead and redo that. Um, just like that. Okay, so it did come on. It came on very subtle. A lot of the product stayed on it. So, eh, didn't like that part. So then we're just going to go in with our brush for that. And then just apply the green over the concealer. And that is how that looks. Now, we're going to go ahead and switch to the other eye then. And see how well I can get it on... Um, this side so once again same side i'm going to put the concealer on i'm going to make sure that it is straight that way it comes on straight so just like that now this piece right here it is like a silicone so it does whoa i dropped my concealer it does like mold onto the eye so now i'm going to go ahead and switch sides right here and we're going to go ahead and stamp it on the eye. Just kind of. All right. There we go. I kind of. All right. It's the same as the other side. I kind of got it like on the top. So I'm going to go in with the brush again. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. All right. So what I kind of want to do for this side is wet this a little bit and then um, kind of apply the and then go ahead and apply the eyeshadow to it so kind of wet it like like with shimmer so I'm just gonna wet it a little just like that okay I did wet it just a little and then I'm gonna go in with the flat brush again And then apply it okay oh I think this might have actually made a difference okay make sure again that I get it straight so it looks good I'm gonna put some more on there just like that I'm gonna knock some off like that all right and then let's do this again I mean, it made a difference this time around. It's kind of... Oh, yeah, there we go. So I moved it side to side. As you guys can see, I'm like jiggling it. And look, the pigment was so different this time. There are some spots missing, so I'm just going to fill that in. Just like that. It did get on top again. Um... Put some more on this side so I'm just gonna go in with the brush again and then just kind of blend that 
and that is that right there what I'm gonna do is jump back into this go in with my small crease brush again and go back into that dark brown and then I'm just gonna kind of put that over all right like so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look off camera and then I will be right back to talk about all right my queen so this is the complete look for the lipstick I am using the wet and wild liquid cat suit in the shade coral crown this is what I am using on the lips right here so overall what are my thoughts on the stamp um on a scale from 1 to 10 I'm going to give it an 8 um, I actually really like it I think it's great for like if you maybe are like in a rush and you don't want to sit down and do the whole like you know cut the put the concealer let it or whatever you know what I mean like that just kind of put it on here put it on your eye and it's great I also think that this is really good if you are doing makeup on other people so like if you are maybe a makeup artist and you're not really like you don't have a steady hand or you're not kind of really good with putting the concealer on other people this is good to just kind of put it on stamp it on them and then you just go in and clean it up I really like it because it's like quick and then you just clean it and then you continue on um, with the metallic you do have to wet it first actually I figured that out and then apply it or put the like glitter primer and then apply it so for metallics I would just use your brush but for the concealer it's definitely cool um, and also I feel like if you use it with maybe like some loose glitter um, put the primer put the glitter and then put it on I think that would work too so overall I really like this little stamp um, I did pay like a dollar something for it so that's cool this isn't like the original because I was not gonna pay that much and then what if I hated it so I'm cool with a dollar twenty nine yeah it was a dollar twenty nine so that is the finished look you guys I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed my little stamp review and my thoughts on the stamp now I hope you all have a wonderful day please give this video a like Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment down below what you think of the stamp and if this is something that you would want to try out for yourself. So I will catch you all on the flip side. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all later. Bye my queens.